So one of the first things that impressed me while producing this track in Bitwig was that the workflow was much faster and uninterrupted. One of my favorite workflow in Bitwig is the unified display or the single application window of the Arranger page. There are three main views to the Bitwig panels. The Arranger panel, where most of your music production is done, and the Mixer panel, and the Edit panel. Now, under the Arrange panel, you can have your Note Editor, where all your edits for MIDI clips and audio clips take place. And the next is your Automation panel, where all the automation edits and adjustments for your MIDI tracks or your audio clips take place. And the next is the device panel, where you can drag and drop Bitwig's own devices or plugins or third party VST plugins and create a chain or a container and you can save it back to the browser for later use. And the last is the mixer panel, where you can make quick adjustments for your tracks. Let me show you. What's so special about Bitwig's browser? As I mentioned earlier, it's a two-way drag and drop feature. Now let's check it out. Let's say I need a synth line for my song. This is Bitwig's polysynth instrument. I'm going to drop it onto the arranger. And the presets of polysynth are also shown. Let's say I need a bass or a synth. Let's check out some patches. Wow, that's good. Now I need some reverb. This is Bitwig's reverb. So I'll drag the device onto the FX slot of Polysynth. Pretty good, but I think I'll reduce the mix a bit. So now I need a little bit of delay. Let's drag the device again to the FX slot of Polysynth. Okay. Again, I would like to reduce the mix a bit. I just need a tad bit. Bit of it. Okay, that's good. But, you know, still I think I'm not happy with the sound of this patch. So, let's make it more dirty. I have always been a fan of 8-bit uh, sounds. So let's drag this bit 8 device again to the FX slot here. Yeah. This is it. This is pretty much the patch I need. So now let's say I want to save it. Save this patch. Now this is a very nice feature in Bitwig. I just click on this poly uh, synth device uh, uh, device, and if you see, all the devices get selected. That's because it's in a container, or let's say it's nested. Okay, so all you have to do is now drag it to the browser, and this pop-up comes. Now there are various categories. Or to and tags, which you can give uh, to your patch and it's saved along with it. Later on, you can recall it back. Say, now this sound is hard, dark, and uh, I'll just name it. Oops. Okay, I just forgot to show you uh, another uh, feature. So let's not save it now. 
this is these are no, called note effects meaning bitwig's own midi devices i want to appreciate this patch so drag the appreciator this time to the note effects of polysynth now i can change the values of the appreciator so now it's in semi quavers so we can bring it down to quaver or crotchet and so on but i'll just stick to the semi quaver or the 116th quantization and let me save this back same process give it the dot tag and the heart so since this is this is more or less like a, a sequence so i'll just give the additional tag of the sequence and i'll name it back so it's okay so once saved let me show you how i can load back the patch i'll just delete it, delete this from the arranger go back to polysynth see whatever i have saved has come in the browser so either you can drag and drop it back to the arranger or you can double click it i'll just drag it back to the arranger Here is the patch I just saved, and this is Bitwig's browser. Let's talk about bounce and place. Well, all the musicians, uh, DJs, and producers must be knowing about this uh, feature, which is there in most of the DAWs in the market. So, what's so special? What's the big deal about bounce and place in Bitwig? Let's check it out. I have this eight bar baseline from my song. I'll just play it for you. So now I want to convert this four bar uh, clip of bass into an audio file. So I click on bounce and place and bang, it's converted into an audio file in a jiffy. So what's it, what has it done in a, in a different way? Well, it's placed the audio clip on the same MIDI track or the instrument track beside the MIDI clip. That's really cool, isn't it? So this is called hybrid tracks. Let's play back and see how it sounds. Amazing, right?